Hi, everyone. Welcome to another episode of Set to Succeed. Right here with me is Achna Danak. Hi, Achna. How are you doing? I'm good, thanks. How have you been? Not bad at all. And uh, welcome to another episode. And just to let the viewers know that uh, Set to Succeed is a show that uh, does motivate and inspire people to get onto a healthy lifestyle this time around. It is me. I have a six months journey and I'm going to actually put it all out there like this specific session I'm actually having with my life coach. Like I said, Arshna Dhanak is going to be with me all the way uh, for the six months journey to take me through to, you know, guide me. Uh, we always need that one support who's going to, you know, keep pushing you. So Urchna is the person in my life. And uh, the reason I'm recording this is so that you could actually know that this is what, uh, you know, somebody can face or how to overcome certain things that happen in life. I've got a bit of challenge um, that I'm facing right now. And so I thought I'd just video this out. But uh, I'm hoping you're keeping absolutely well, Urshna, in the UK. I am, thanks. I, I definitely am. It's getting a bit warmer here, which is nice. Oh, that's good. And it's getting a bit I know you warmer. want it. <laughs> oh, really? Okay. Yeah. That. <laughs> no problem. I know that you wanted to address uh, one or two challenges today. Yes. But before we do so, mm -hmm. you tell us about the progress that you've had since we last spoke um any changes that you have implemented and any little or even major victories that you've enjoyed okay i like that you start with the positive fact so i can be really happy about telling you the good things so the great exactly. thing that has been happening is that uh, you know i've been on the metabolic balance plan like i said um i have this whole plan that tells you how much to eat uh, what to eat that's good for your metabolism of course so i have that plan and um of course, you know, the, the thing that I've noticed is that I'm so energetic. All of a sudden, I'm like super energetic, which is absolutely okay. great. Um, I'm not like, you know, by the time I come from work and I'd be like, oh, but right now I'm like energetic and all, which is absolutely great. Um, okay. The victories, when it comes to victories, I should say, I think the best thing has been planning my meals out where I know, yes, I know what I'm supposed to have in my meal plan. But, uh, you know, when you're writing it down and saying, hey, on Monday, I'm going to have a salad, um, you know, for dinner or lunch yeah. and all that planned out. The best yeah. victory I've had is, you know, for the past few weeks, I've been sticking to that. So just, you know, ticking it off feels like, yay, I've achieved something, uh, which is um, like, I think I'm really happy about that. Okay, that's that's really nice. So time saving preps, uh, intake of nutritional food and you have more energy that's that's really nice to know that's a good place to start i think yeah sure is yeah. now i guess what is it that you want to address as a challenge okay so as much as i say that uh you know i've paid for a workout and all that um mm -hmm. i think i've been having a challenge because i started off slow i have not got into weights or anything it's just about walking but trying to get it to, uh, to a faster pace by you know a few weeks and so but the challenge that I've been facing is that it's been raining in uh, Nairobi, Kenya, right here. So by the time it starts raining during working, uh, you know, like just when you're going to leave, there's so much yeah. traffic. That's like my biggest excuse. So it's been a bit crazy in <laughs> okay. terms of, you know, you come home, you do your uh, cooking. I, I have a, a thing where I need to make sure it's fresh because uh, just to let you know, I have an issue with my uh, thyroid. So it gives me gut um, issues. So when I eat um, something that's not fresh, I'd always have issues. I get gassy, okay. I everything. So I've been eating mm -hmm. um, every day, make something fresh. So by the time I come home, you know, yeah. you, you're cooking and by the time you eat, you want to eat before 9 p.m. So it gets uh, crazy in terms of trying to put that with the workout. So that's my biggest challenge okay. at this point. Okay, okay. So sometimes the weather stops you and other times crazy schedule i'm assuming yes uh let me address the second one first i'll, mm -hmm. I'll talk about the later the weather problem so when um the weather's okay the sun is shining yes uh if you have a very tight schedule uh, mm -hmm. and you know you come home late would it be possible for you to take your gear you know your shoes and clothes to the workplace and find maybe an hour or so to do something there it could be i don't know a power walk perhaps you know <laughs> that's why you're there because i didn't even think about it to be honest this is so 
Okay. Crazy. I've not been thinking about it because uh, the idea is that there's COVID, you can't go to the gym. Um, and I've been relating that. So now maybe you are right. I could do that, especially when the weather is okay. I can actually yeah. do that. I have a great place where I can walk um, around my area that's of work. Good. Yeah. Okay. That's, 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 that's good. Um, and you could mix it up. I mean, it doesn't just need to be a power walk. You could have a day when you're, you know, walking and having, uh, or maybe doing a bit of a jog as well, if at all your knees, your legs allow you. Uh, yes. And it doesn't need to be long distances. You know, you could just put in maybe two to three minutes worth of a jog within your walk and see how you find that. Yeah, so a variation might help. Um, when it rains, mm -hmm. Um, I mean, we suffer poor weather for so many months in a year. So I know right. what your challenges might be. Right. But the beauty right now is that you're able to access so many different types of um, workout videos, yoga videos on YouTube. That's yeah. true. Could That's be an so true. That, actually. <laughs> I mean, our teacher, Dharana, does a Zumba. Um, she has an online thing that I could sign up for. And you know, the funny thing is... Yeah. When you're on this journey, you're always having excuses. But then when you're with Urchna, she'll put it right out there for you and tell you, listen, <laughs> this is what you got to do. Um, I, I like the fact that you've said, even if it's uh, one or two minutes, which obviously is something I, I can't have an excuse for. So this will be something I will definitely uh, put it up in my schedule and make sure that it happens. Mindset. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Besides that, any other challenges that you've come across? Actually, um, you know, one of the things I've realized uh, for the past two weekends, which has been an issue, is that um, when I started off, I said I'm not going to have so much alcohol or I'll try to reduce it completely. But uh, for the past two weekends, we've had guests over, like friends over. And it's okay. becoming a challenge in terms of, you know, they're like, just have, just have one drink. So I'd have one drink, but that one drink becomes a few more and then it's like okay what have i just done and i really feel guilty so this is like one of the things that i'm facing a challenge with at this point for sure okay okay it sounds a bit familiar because i've heard uh you mention it in the past yes uh, when we first spoke so there's something that i've noticed mm -hmm. that you approach this particular challenge with uh, with a lot of fear you're you're scared this is the one challenge that's going to get you or that you're going to sort of, you know, um, lose towards. I don't right. know if I'm, I generally have sensed that this has been one of your bigger um, weaknesses, if we could call it that. Um, what I would suggest is mm -hmm. look around. You've been making a few changes. Right. But your eating habits, you are implementing, you know, better ways to stay fit. Uh, you're making good progress, even though it's the early stages, right? Right. And you obviously have the right intention in terms of your alcohol intake. Mm -hmm. uh, maybe tell yourself that. Yeah. So <laughs> yes. when the weekend yeah. arrives or when you're in company, don't necessarily think, okay, I, I'm going to lose control now. Yeah. Instead, tell yourself. Yourself mm -hmm. should be, I am confident that I'm going to mm -hmm. be able to control my alcohol intake or even say if it's already happening you know i'm successful right. controlling my alcohol intake. i'm making good progress if you start off that way if you tell yourself that way that repeatedly yes you might start to believe it and even make better decisions you know you will have more faith in yourself i think uh, I, think, I think you're actually quite right because whenever i get into like the weekend Instead yeah. of thinking about like, I know that I'm going to eat well, I'm going to do everything right. But the yeah. one thing that's running in my head is, oh my God, okay. So now, uh, you know, if we go out, I don't know what I'm going to have. And what will I, will I drink water? And mm -hmm. you're right. Mm -hmm. I do have that fear when I'm uh, getting on next to the weekend. It's there like, oh. Go. And the most amazing thing is that you have friends who WhatsApp you and tell you, oh, weekend's here. So what's the plan? Where are we going? And you know, the whole thing. So it's a bit, um, yeah, it's become a challenge, a bit of a challenge. That's, that's understandable. And on that point now, uh, maybe two other things I mm -hmm. would suggest. Um, you mentioned that um, last weekend you sort of gave in to, you know, a bit of insistence, um, you know, people saying have just a little bit, etc. Yes. 
it, it can be quite helpful if you tell people what you're working towards, you know, whether these are friends or if they're, you know, if it's somebody else, just, just say, I'm, I'm, I'm trying not to drink this week weekend, mm. or I'm trying to control my alcohol intake. So I wouldn't be having any, thank you very much. And it's completely okay because ultimately you're taking yourself seriously. That's what you're projecting. And that is what they will come to realize. Hopefully they will respect what you're trying to do. Yeah. That's true, actually, because it's so hard. Like you just keep thinking, okay, this person might think uh, this or that. And, you know, uh, saying no becomes a bit of, but you're right. I like the fact that you say that um, people will take me seriously and that's my own self-respect. So I think you've hit the nail there when you say that. Um, yeah, yeah. You're right, and actually. <laughs> very lastly, if yeah. all of that becomes difficult, I hope not. I hope you can implement it. But at the end of the weekend, maybe do a tally. You know, you're in accounts. Do a tally of how much you have spent on alcohol. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> and how much it comes to at the end of a month, maybe do that. If it's a real <laughs> issue, try and think of it like that as well. Now, let me yeah. tell you something. I'm a good you. Mm -hmm. I'm in finance. So if you're going to tell me to do this, definitely. I mean, like... <laughs> You know, it's just a combination, which if I was to do the math, I'm actually going yeah. to put this in. Um, so March is close by. And um, yeah. yeah, from Monday, I think I better start writing how much I'm spending. Then that way, yes. when it's, you know, like in front of me and I know exactly what I'm spending, I know I'll stop spending on that. Correct. Yeah. If it's a huge amount, then, you know, you're able to get some perspective on how it is you're spending. You know, the funny thing is, um, when it comes to buying something healthy, for example, if I was to go and buy olive oil, I'd be comparing all sorts of olive oil bottles to see, oh, yeah. should I buy this one? This one has, you know, and, and the, the price difference is not even that much. It might just be 50 to 100 shillings. But when it comes to an alcohol bottle, there's no two ways of thinking. You just pick it quick. <laughs> ah, today we're going to have a good time. So maybe now I'm definitely going to put this down in writing and uh, make sure that uh, I'll actually do a video on this one. I will for sure of how good, much I'm good. saved. And um, yeah. yeah, that'd be good I'm to know glad, actually. I'm glad you're taking it so positively and that you're being so honest about it. So I guess, is that is that it? Uh, uh, were those two your two main challenges? Yeah, I think these were the main challenges for this uh, specific. It's actually one and a half weeks that it's um, been bothering me. So it's good that okay. I've had a session with you, which you makes life easier it. now. Yeah. Okay, great. I guess that brings us to the end of this session. Yes. Uh, do tell us, uh, you know, when we meet next about your progress, whatever goals you'd set for yourself uh, at that point in time and where you've reached. For sure. Uh, so we'll keep talking then on how you're doing. Sure. Thanks a lot, Arshna. Absolutely appreciate it. And thank you for making this, uh, you know, okay to uh, actually record. Just to let you know, she doesn't record everyone's sessions, okay? She's a life coach, but <laughs> that's their private uh, life. She, this is just because of the show. If you want to get in touch with her, of course, uh, she's on Facebook. You can get a hold of her and Arshna Dharanak. I'll also leave the link be below for you to get uh, more details of uh, Arshna. And of course, if you haven't already, be sure to subscribe. Till next time, my friends, you be safe and be healthy and fit. Bye-bye. Thanks. Bye. Bye.